My name is Sophia Nymphius. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Exercise and Health Sciences, and my main areas of research are on bone adaptation, specifically around adolescence, as well as the measurement of loading using microsensor technology. With an aging population, we know osteoporosis is a real issue, but focusing on it later in life and what we can do after it's already occurred is a bit late. So what we know is that things that we do when we're young, particularly around adolescence, can actually have a long-lasting effect well beyond adulthood. So we can actually adapt our bones early and that stays with us beneficially towards our later life. So it can really have an impact there. In order to look at the effects of um, physical activity and specifically neuromotor fitness, which is how fast we can run, how high we can jump, how strong we are, we're going to look at um, individuals between the ages of 10 to 13 and we're going to look at their neuromotor fitness as well as the strength of their bone. So to investigate neuromotor fitness and bone health, we're using quite a bit of equipment. So it may seem really simplistic to measure jump height or the speed of someone just using um, timing gates or a stopwatch. But what we're actually doing is using the facilities here at Edith Cowan University. And we have a series of in-ground force plates, which looks at how hard we hit the ground when we're running and how hard we push the ground when we jump. And so the individuals in the study will be running across these and unbeknownst to them, they'll actually be having their time measured as well as the forces that they produce measured. We've already conducted a pilot study where we looked at the neuromotor fitness of 13 and 14 year olds and we found that the faster and stronger individuals actually had substantially stronger bones. And with that cross-sectional information, now we want to further look to see if as individuals improve their neuromotor fitness if we get a concomitant change in their bone. So if we know that happens over the long term, we can intervene and make sure that we make children stronger, faster, and more explosive for the intention not just of being good at those things, but more for their bone health.